everyone welcome back to my channel let's learn and create future so today i will read to you one of the famous stories from deepak dalal talent the falcon so let's get started talent the falcon by deepak dalal no wing beat no heart beat no freedom no life a caged bird's lament Peregrine falcons are hunters the fastest creatures in the world but when talon is locked in a cage his wings stilled forever his mighty heart and spirit are broken he bemoans the loss of his wings crooning the song all caged birds sing no bird no squirrel anywhere in the world would ever dream of rescuing a falcon but in the rose garden lives a squirrel like no other shikar the squirrel a kind hearted creature is friends with the birds of the garden his tiny heart bleeds for talon and the terrible fate that has befallen him and late one night Shikar and his boat friends mount a daring rescue attempt. Where are the birds? Shikar the squirrel rested in his nest high above the ground in the old jacaranda tree. It was yet another one of those bright cloudless days at the rose garden. Shikar was a cheerful squirrel always happy on such days. But for some reason he was uneasy today. It was during his morning plays when he had been dashing spiritedly all over the rose garden that he had sensed not all was well. Sometime something about the place disturbed him. The squirrel furrowed his brow wondering what the bother was. Kabul the bulbul nested above shikar in the same tree kabul was the wisest bird of the garden when troubled the squirrel always sought the bulbul's the bulbul's guidance as he had done several times in the past ah shikar lifted his head but kabul nest was empty shikar turned his gaze at the to the garden searching for his bo- other bird friends where was black pie the chips happy go lucky marked by robin there was no sign of mice either Come rain or shine every morning the little sunbird hovered among the roses seeking the sweetest nectar that only his long beak could pray from those delicate blooms birds throng the rose garden at this time of day feeding in its trees and in its grasses and frolicking in the sunlight glades but there was no minus today no bubbles no no coils no bee eaters no eras no babblers there wasn't a single bird in the rose garden a deep silence pervaded the trees their branches were still and empty shikar sat up this was odd extremely odd now that shikar thought of it even lovey and ravi the inspirable doves has been stopped by for their morning feed shikar couldn't recall a single morning they had failed to visit the sharp aroma of human food distracted shikar the sh- the squirrel gazed down at the human den 
at the center of the garden. Its doors were wide open, as they always were at this time of day. Wow, wow, the dog was slouched in his usual collar, balefully eyeing Shikar. All was well in the human den just another morning. In the garden, butterflies fluttered and bumblebees droned, but there was no joyful singing of birds in the trees and on the grass there was a strange hush. Shika rose and slipped noisily along the branches of the jacaranda tree. A tangle of leaves and shrubs bordered the garden, and skipping from one to another, he would he wound a path through them. The boundary wall of the rose garden drew near, and when it slid beneath him, he entered the neighboring leaf garden. He searched the trees for ski, the bee eater, and sailor, the tail. Taylor bird who lived here, but in this garden too, there were no birds. The squirrels of the leaf garden were home, however, Kismish and Elijah, the parents of his best friends, were eyeing him disdainfully. Ignoring them, Shikar hunted for their children, Pan and Supari. He found them resting among among the giant leaves of a banana tree. Hi, greeted Shikar, bouncing on the leaf. The squirrels did not return his, his greeting. Where are all the birds? chattered Shikar. I cannot find them. Where have they gone? Pan and Supari glanced nervously about them. Nervously about them. Quite, hissed Pan. Don't talk so loudly. Shikar stared at Pan in amazement. He opened his mouth to let Pan have a piece of his mind. But Supari, his sister, spoke. There she whispered, whispered, turning her pretty snout to the human den of the leaf garden. This is the reason why all the worlds have flown away. Shikar looked in the veranda of the den, squatting as if in mid-air was a bird. This was no original, ordinary bird. It was the biggest and the most fearsome bird that Shikar has ever seen. It perched proudly on talons so large that they sent shivers snaking, snaking down Shikar's spine. A casual slash would rip a squirrel to shreds, no question about it. As Shikar watched the bird cock its head, its eyes swung towards the squirrels and settled on them. Pan and Supari squealed with fight, fright, and Shikar's herd started. To hammer woodpecker, woodpecker like in his chest, Shikar's friend fled the banana tree and and cowered behind a bush. Pan began to sob helplessly. Shikar tore his eyes from the gaze of the frightful bird and joined his friends in the bushes. Supari stood shaking beside. Her sobbing bird brother, the that is a falcon. She stuttered. A falcon? asked Shikar. You don't know about falcons? Supari stared at Shikar. They are monster birds. Crueler than even monitor lizards. They swoop down from the sky and Seize us in their terrible talents. They kill everything, birds too. That is why your bird friends have flown away. Like us, they too are terrified of the falcon. 
Why doesn't it go away? Wailed Pan. Fly back to the forest it came from. There was a sudden chattering call. Pan, Supari, come back here. It was the squirrel. Mother Christmas, how many times I have told you not to play with that bird squirrel. Come here this instant. No chit-chatting or fooling around with him while the falcon is in the garden. Pan and Supari. Supari's parents did not like Shikar. For that matter, all the squirrels of the leaf garden disliked Shikar. The root of the ill feeling towards him was his features, his startling white face, which was so unlike the elegant brown ones. Then there was his friendship with the birds. They distrusted they distrusted Shikar for speaking the bird language. No squirrel had ever learnt it before, but Shikar, whose parents has da- had died when he was an infant, had been brought up by Kabul, the wise bulbul. Kabul had taught him the ways of, a, of the bird, their language and their songs. Squirrels are as a rule dislike birds and the squirrels of the garden deplored Shikar's friendship with them. Every squirrel was deeply suspicious of Shikar's all ex- except uh, of Shikar all except his two friends Pan and Supari. Shikar flicked his tail. You two better return before the mother gets angry and stop crying, Pan. The falcon is bound to go away soon. Thank you. Uh, wait for my second part of Wait for the second part of Talent the Falcon.